Good morning everybody and welcome to Vlogmas Day 1. Hello and welcome back. Thank you so much for being here. Oh my gosh, I'm so hot in this hat. <laughs> Um, but I'm having a really bad hair day, so I thought hat was necessary. Um, it's December 1st. I'm so happy. December is my favourite month, and I'm so excited to be starting Vlogmas today. Hello and welcome if it's your first time here. Um, you may have no idea who I am, because you might have just stumbled across this video because you like watching Vlogmas videos, in which case, hi, my name is Georgie. I make vlogs and kind of theatre based videos. I'm an actor so I make a lot of like behind the scenes of like shows I'm in videos and advice videos and things like that. Um, but this Christmas I'm in a panto in Liverpool playing Tinkerbell in Peter Pan so I am going to be doing vlogmas for the entire of December vlogging backstage at my show and also just bits and bobs from like my life like what I'm getting up to over the festive season. For those of you that just watch my normal videos or just don't know um i just thought i'd quickly explain what vlogmas is oh my god i'm so hot uh vlogmas is basically like a online advent calendar so i'm going to be making a video every single day leading up to christmas kind of like an advent calendar so from the 1st to the 24th of december i will be filming every single day and then editing the videos that evening and uploading them the next day so for example today is the 1st of december and I will be filming all day today and then I will upload this video tomorrow evening so you will be watching it on the second and it will lead on like that and then the final video will go up on Christmas day. So it's like one day behind but from the first if that makes sense. Um, yeah, and so I'm just gonna be filming everything and I'll be taking you along backstage at Panto, um, backstage at rehearsals, like behind the scenes of all that. Um, today I'm gonna be putting up my Christmas tree so I will show you that as well um, but for now, I've had a lion for the first time in a week, which is really, really nice. Um, I'm currently staying in Liverpool in Diggs, um, really nice little apartment in the centre of Liverpool. Um, I yeah, had a nice chilled morning, although had a bit of an epic fail. Went for a run this morning and it was so icy, I like fully slipped over and it was, a, a, I mean, not so much a run as like a kind of shuffle. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, that didn't go to plan, um, but I came home, did a little workout now, I've just had a shower and I've got dressed um, because me and Christina, who is also in the cast, are going to go for some brunch. Um, I asked you guys on Instagram for some, like, for brunch recommendations and I got loads, so I'm going to be, like, slowly working my way through them all um, over, like, my five weeks here. Four weeks now. But yeah, thank you so much for all the recommendations. Um, if you don't follow me on Instagram, by the way, I'll leave my handle, like, on the screen. Um, I'll be, like, posting more kind of stuff over there as well over December. So yeah, right, I'm gonna stop babbling now. And, oh, I haven't opened my advent calendar. I don't wanna get back, because I really wanna show you it, because it's really cool. Um, right, gonna go and have some brunch now. We're going to somewhere called The Florist, which cut quite a, I can't talk, which quite a few of you guys recommended. So we're gonna go there and have some brunch. I made a classic error. Um, <laughs> they don't serve brunch after 12. So we're trying somewhere else now. Oh my gosh, I actually can't see. Blinded. Whoopsie. Take two. <laughs> Take two, noose. Second ten. epic fail <laughs> of the day. <laughs> Moose was too busy, but at least we know it's a popular destination for, for pancakes. Um, so now we're trying uh, leaf. 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 Fingers crossed, third time lucky. Oh my 
my gosh, so we've just got back to our digs and I have literally got straight into my pajamas um, because I just wanted to be cozy. These are my Kath Kidston pajamas and I absolutely love them. Um, yeah, we just went out in Liverpool and it's safe to say it's, it's quite terrifying. Me and Christina are from London and we were not prepared for like how busy it was going to be. It was quite, it was quite intense. It's like crazy, like everyone like was Disneyland. out. It was like Disneyland. We went into Lush, like this giant Lush. Um, in the, it's the biggest Lush in the world, apparently. Yeah. Um, and it was crazy. This is like Christmas threw up on it. Oh my god, that's oh my so weird. Going everywhere. <laughs> it's like a flambe or something. Like, just oh, bath awesome. bombs everywhere, people everywhere. It was just like on another level. <coughs> Safe to say, we didn't last long. I um, went and collected a dress that I ordered from Zara. Um, and then we went to Tesco and got a few bits. Because uh, we're going to make a roast. So we've been here for a week now, like literally a week. And today's the first day I actually put away all my food in my cupboard. Um, so I've actually organised it into savoury and like breakfasty stuff and like stuff to make pancakes and cereals and things like that although these bad boys would not fit in there we went into town just now and bought a couple of things i didn't buy that many things um but i just thought i'd show you a couple of the things that i picked up just because they're quite interesting um so we went into holland and barrett and these are like two things i always use every day um but i actually left mine in london uh, so I needed to pick some more up, but I get these two sprays from Holland and Barrett. They're by a brand called Better You, and one is a B12 spray, um, and one is a vitamin D spray. They're just like really good <laughs> sprays. Um, you can get tablets and stuff as well, but sprays absorb into your blood a lot quicker apparently, so that's why I just always get these. But they taste really nice, and you just like literally spray them. Um, but vitamin D, vitamin B12 is a really important thing like to take a supplement off um i think especially if you're veggie or vegan but i think everyone needs more b12 anyway um and vitamin d is another one i'm not entirely sure why but you need vitamin d um and it tastes of peppermint this one so these are both really good that's the vitamin d one and that is the b12 one and so yeah I recommend those. Um, what else? Oh my god, I got this. I've been so excited. I've wanted to try this for ages. I basically saw it on like an Instagram account I follow that these had come out. And then I've been looking when I was at home, I was looking, but they didn't have it anywhere. Um, and Linford bought it a few weeks ago and he tried it and he really liked it. Um, but I just haven't been able to find it. And I finally found it today in Tesco in Liverpool. Um, but they basically come out with Vegan Galaxy. How exciting. Um, in like three flavours, they only had two, but a girl I follow online uh, called Little London Vegan, she taste tested them and she said that this one was the nicest and I love like chocolate orange, so I picked this one um, and I'm really excited to test that because I've heard that it's really good. I've heard it doesn't actually taste like Galaxy, but it's nice like in its own right. So yeah, bought that. Um, I didn't really, oh, oh yeah I did. I also, um, I didn't really get anything in the Black Friday sale. Oh my god, this is gonna tip over. Yeah, I didn't really get anything in Black Friday. Well, okay, I like I did. I got two things. I bought some new jeans because I need jeans. So I got some black Joni jeans um from Topshop because they were in the sale. I think they had like 40% off or something like that. Um, but they haven't arrived yet. But I also got this from Zara. Um it's a dress. It's a dress I've wanted for a really long time, but I couldn't really justify it. Um, but it went into sale and it was reduced from £39 to £27. Um, so I bought it. I could only get it in extra small though, which I think might be too small for me. Oh my god, my camera keeps tipping. Um, so I'm going to try it on. I've decided to move my camera because I thought it was going to fall off the bed. Um, but yeah, we went into Zara and it was like another level it was so weird there was like a machine that was like mechanical mechanical like it was like futuristic it was so weird and you literally like scanned your barcode and this like giant like arm robot arm went like and found your package and like brought it straight back into like this little like chute i'll insert a clip of it now because it was like 
weird it felt like we'd like zoomed into the future it was it was crazy oh my god okay so we're going to collect my order and zara what is this Crazy like look okay so i have to put my time. <laughs> it's terrifying to to collect. okay let's see if that works Maybe add just intrigued to see okay so first failure oh. <gasps> okay here we go bringing parcel please oh wait oh my god so Oh my god. It's like Spy Kids when you get the burger. Wow. Oh, oh the burger. Okay. Is that. That, that is insane. <laughs> um, but I got this dress. Yay. It's a polka dot dress. This is like the dress that was like a. What's the word? Oh my gosh, what is it? It's like when ev like literally everyone was wearing it. It was like everybody had this dress. It was. Like an Instagram, it was like basically it was like the dress everyone was wearing in white, and then they brought it out in black, and it's just like an oversized. Actually, I think this might fit me because it's quite like a baggy dress. Um, it's just like long sleeved. Can you see? Long sleeved, more like three quarter length sleeves, high neck, black polka dot dress, and I just think it will look really nice with like white trainers or like. Converse or boots or whatever, really. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna try it on, see if it fits. If not, shall be sending back. But yeah, it was reduced from 39.99 to 27 pounds. Success. There's a like up close of the hello <laughs> print. It's just black and white polka dots. Very very nice. I also wanted to show you a couple of things that my mum actually got me before. I came up to Liverpool. My mum's so sweet. She knows how much I love Christmas. So she like made me a little goodie bag with um, like a few Christmassy things in it, which was just so, so cute. Um, it made me like really like emotional. I was like, oh, how cute. She knows basically that I'm like trying to find like vegan food wherever I can. Um, and she went to Waitrose and she, well, she went like searching around loads of different supermarkets and she went and found me like vegan snacks and vegan food. So she went, to Aldi because they had like a Christmas vegan like snacks range and she bought all these like you know like canapé kind of things like Christmas like veggie spring rolls and like they had loads of different ones and she bought like loads of them for me to try for Christmas so I tried loads of them at the weekend they were really really nice she got me like some other ones as well and then she went to she found some stuff I think it was in Waitrose um and she like put a little goodie bag together so she got me some little chalky drops which are like vegan like little vegan chalky drop things and they're also gluten free they're organic dairy free and gluten free so got those to have as a little snack and also dairy free choco covered choco -vered raisins which i've oh my god i used to love chocolate covered raisins and i've never ever been able to find vegan ones um so she got me those as well which i'm really excited to eat what does it say with no other ingredients and then she also got me some vegan mince pies how lovely look and they're gluten free as well because i'm also i'm not sure if i'm allergic i know everyone's slightly allergic to gluten but i'm trying to like figure that whole thing out um but yeah they're gluten free mince pies how sweet um so i think we're gonna eat those tonight um and she got me which i don't have in here it's in the kitchen she got me a bottle of mulled wine because she knows i love mulled wine and so i thought as it's December the 1st, I'm going to put up a Christmas tree. I'm going to have a little glass of mulled wine and a mince pie. But I just thought that was so sweet of my mum to, like, think of me to get some, like, little Christmassy bits for me to go away with. Um, she also got me, which I'm going to open now, an advent calendar. Um, and I think this is such a lovely idea and it's something I really wanted to share with you because I just absolutely love it. I think it's the most, like just the best advent calendar I've ever had. It is from a company called Advent of Change and it's an advent calendar and every day you open a door and let me read the back because I'm probably, I'm probably not selling it very well. This purchase makes a donation to 24 different charities. Open a door each day to discover which charity you've helped and what your donation has enabled them to do. So basically you open a door every day like a normal advent calendar and each day it tells you a different charity you buying the advent calendar has supported so it's like a little a different charity each day and i just think that's such a lovely idea like what a nice advent calendar like what a nice idea and it's like an advent calendar to like help others so i just think that is such a genius idea 
um, and I'd never seen one before and I just I absolutely love it um she got one for me and my sister so thank you so much mum I think that is the most lovely thing ever and I'm gonna open door number one now um and see what charity I'm supporting today look at that oh it's so pretty oh I love it I think that's really cute uh, okay let's find the door number one there it is oh I just remembered I was gonna buy nail varnish today oh well um let's open oh this is cool so the charity is keep britain tidy um and it's got like the registered charity number and everything today you have cleared 100 pieces of litter from our beaches oh my god i love that that's so cute that's so great there we go i feel good <laughs> what a nice idea i love that thank you so much mom look how lovely that is what a great advent calendar and it's very cute as well i've decided this is going to be my little festive side table i've got my mauled wine um candle from next which smells glorious and i'm going to put my little advent calendar behind it there we go Ta -da! i also have this little christmas tree that my mum got me last year but the batteries run out so oh my gosh don't judge me digestives in my room um i'm gonna pop some i bought some batteries today um from tesco i hope they're the right size and i'm gonna pop them in here um so i can turn my little christmas tree on so epic fail they're double a so i need to buy double a Patrick batteries tomorrow oh man it's okay i'll put it on tomorrow harry potter's on the tv so today's basically the best day ever <laughs> i love it this is a scary one though not but not very festive right tree time got my tree here which my nan and granddad gave me. <laughs> um, and then all my decorations. We've got a colorful theme for the tree. We've got some Christmas lights, 200, which might be a bit of overkill, but we're just gonna try. And then lots of colorful baubles. These are my ones I got from Next, maybe like two years ago, but they're like my pride and joy. I love them. Right, time to assemble. Okay, lights are on. It's looking a bit bottom heavy at the moment. Um, it's weird how like, I feel like you can just see all the wires quite a lot. Maybe I need to fan it out a little bit. Um, but it doesn't look terrible. <laughs> Maybe once I get some decorations on it, it'll look a bit better. It's a bit, 
from a distance it looks really quite good um yeah i'm gonna put some decorations on it and then reassess Homemade roast courtesy of Christina. Oh, thank you. Yeah, da, 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 da. Food has been eaten. I am now, oh my god, I just nearly dropped it. Gonna make some mulled wine. This is the mulled wine that my mum got me. <laughs> we're, watching, we're watching the extras Christmas special and it's brutal. Like, it's horrible. Every actor needs to watch this. The extras Christmas special. I'm not happy with that. Right, okay, you either do it, or you go home. Go on, don't, don't do it. Okay, okay. Right. See you then. Yeah! Go on, Maggie! I'll show you my tree in a minute, but I haven't quite finished it yet. I know you can see a little bit, just then, but it's not quite finished. Um, I need to put the star on top, but I'm just gonna make some more wine. That is like the ultimate festive thing to do. Now whipping out the mince pies as well because we're just going full out festive feeling with feeling. Ta -da! Oh yeah. Watching the extras Christmas special, which is like my favourite thing ever and putting the finishing touches to the Christmas tree. Just need to put the star on the top. I'm also in two minds, because basically like the theme is like, you know, like pink and like multicolored, like based off of these baubles, which are my favorite baubles, but I've got Harry Potter baubles, <laughs> which are like all the different, hang on, let me see if I can show you. So it's like, this one's a Gryffindor one, and then I've got like, you know, like blue for Ravenclaw and yellow for Hufflepuff, etc. But they didn't really go with the tree, so I'm not really sure whether to add them or not. Um, that looks a bit weird. Right, I need to put the star on the top, which is just down here on the floor. Ta-da! Christmas tree is complete. Yay! Aww. It's finished. First mulled wine of December. Wow. Normally I've had like three by now. Like of the year. Of the year? Of the year, that's oh, what I meant. Uh, yeah. First mulled wine of the year. Oh, no, yeah. it's so good. So festive. Mince pie. Oh, these are really nice. Are they good? Mm. Taste test by Christina. She approves. They're lovely. We're now going to watch the extras Christmas special and just feel very festive. <sighs> I'm feeling so festive and actually really sleepy. I think it's only, oh, it's half past nine. Um, but I think I am gonna go to bed soon because I'm really tired. Um, actually, I need to edit this vlog before I go to bed. So I probably won't be going to bed anytime soon. Um, and that's what this December is gonna be a bit like. It's gonna be not much sleep, but I'm really excited to carry on vlogging and taking you along for all my Christmas goings on um i hope you enjoyed this video and yeah i'm looking forward to making more vlogs um i will see you bright and early tomorrow for day two of vlogmas um i hope you enjoyed the video if you did give it a thumbs up and i will see you tomorrow night